There's no such thing as the perfect morning routine. Well, at least in my opinion. We all have our distinct needs in order to function when we're waking up early in the morning. One person prefers coffee as their caffeine source in the morning, and someone else may be a tea connoisseur. Have you ever seen this before? There is no cookie cutter solution to a perfect morning routine, but we can all follow some guidelines and experiment with different habits so we can soon adapt for ourselves. Waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Daily reading. Daily journaling. Yoga. And self-affirmations. These are just a few examples that you can adopt in your life right now to make sure you have a successful morning. Now I discovered something for myself that I personally believe encompasses them all and that is to have a stoic morning. Stoicism defines as the endurance of pain or hardship without the display of feelings and without complaint. With that in mind, here is a passage from Marcus Aurelius. At dawn, when you have trouble getting out of bed, tell yourself, I have to go to work as a human being. What do I have to complain of if I'm going to do what I was born for? The things I was brought into this world to do? Or is this what I was created for? To huddle under the blankets and stay warm. So personally, I felt attacked when I first read that passage because, well, it's true. I love to stay warm under my blankets, scroll on my phone, and basically just waste my day away. But wait, there's more. He goes on to say, So you were born to feel nice instead of doing things and experiencing them? Don't you see the plants, the birds, the ants, the spiders, and the bees going about their individual tasks, putting the world in order the best they can? and you're not willing to do your job as a human being, why aren't you running to do what your nature demands? Now, this last part really hit me, and it's an eye-opener, and I hope it does the same for you. You don't love yourself enough, or you'd love your nature too and what it demands of you. This is the type of mindset I want to incorporate into my life, to become a habit so engraved into my being that it becomes second nature, almost autonomous, like blinking or breathing. Remember, it's not the events or people that are the problem, but how your mind reacts to them. If you ever find yourself overwhelmed during your morning routine, at work, a creative project, or even an argument with your partner, reflect on your gifts. I know what it feels like to be in a stressful situation, and the negative emotions included in those situations can be so immense, but do your best to remember. It's an incredible privilege to be alive. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Comment purple popsicle so that I know it's real. I appreciate the support and I'm really excited to keep creating videos for you. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already done so. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.